What's up, OMG Nation? So let me tell you guys a story about what happened to me a couple of days ago. I was headed back. Oh, man. All right, so let me start here. Okay, first, so for those of you who do not know my previous previous career, I used to be a professional wrestler. So I had a guy that I used to work some local shows with call me up, and he's running a show in Franklin, Kentucky. He first thing he said is he said, "OMG, are you working anymore?" And that means wrestling. Are you ring work doing any ring work anymore? And I said, "No." After my last knee surgery, I kind of just figured it, I didn't think my knees was going to be able to handle it anymore. Because I did it for over 15 years, and I had three knee surgeries on my right knee. And he said, well, I've got a backup plan. He said, would you be interested in doing play-by-play -play announcing? I said, I don't know. Uh, I've never done it before, and I don't know that I'd be any good at it. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. So... He said, well, I said, dude, who do you want me to be? You want me to be the play-by-play -play guy? Do you want me to be the color guy? And he said, well, let's just figure it out. He goes, I'm going to put you with Hot Rod Biggs, which this dude is a local in independent wrestler. He used to wrestle with The Rock. Uh, he, on the microphone, is phenomenal. And I said, heck yeah, I'll do it. If you're going to put me with Hot Rod, absolutely, I'll do it. So I take the family... We jump in the car and head up there. We go do our first show. You know, I did okay. It has been a very long time since I even watched wrestling, so I had to kind of get back into the swing of things. Towards the end of it, it started coming more natural to me. I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but I like to talk. <laughs> so I don't know if you guessed it or not. So we finish the show, we jump in the car to head back. As soon as we cross the Tennessee state line, there's a couple of different cities. I'm not exactly sure which city I was in. Ooh, it's getting cold. I gotta find my gloves. A truck up ahead of me had a blowout and their, one of their tires shredded. Well, I had just switched lanes and that tire came tumbling at me and destroyed the front end of my car. And I was just like, are you serious? I had the boy with me and Mrs. OMG with me. It freaked her out, which I think freaked the boy out a little bit. I pulled over to the side of the road. I get out because something's dragging. Some, we, we can hear it. And I don't think I was doing somewhere between 55 and 65. And we get out, or I get out. The bumper's hanging down on the road underneath the car there's some stuff hanging down i couldn't even tell what it was at the time so i started looking for duct tape a bungee cord anything in my car i just cleaned everything out of my car the other day and so then i just start grabbing the bottom of the bumper and pushing it and shoving it pushing it and shoving it. it finally clicks and stays so we jump back in the car i said we i was the only one out there i jumped back in the car with them head over to a gas station pull off the interstate and look at it it was quite a bit of damage it was a pretty big piece it, it came at me so fast and it happened so quick that i literally there was a concrete median to the right side of me a concrete median to the left side of me and i had to make a quick decision on what to do and i just tried to hit the brakes so i took it to the dealership luckily as of right now it's only about $1,400 worth of damage. I do have some pretty solid insurance, but I still haven't received my car and picked it up. It's still been in the shop. It's been in there for about a week, which is cool as I'm driving a truck. They should have gave me one of them little Jeep Gladiators. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched my Family Fun Day episode where Mrs. OMG says, why don't you tell them what happened to you last week?